as Robin hurtled through the darkness. Her helplessness no longer made her feel scared. It made her feel frustrated. Angry. She wanted answers. The Jin's magic gently released her into the unknown. Now where am I? The ground was warm to the touch. At least it's quiet down here. Just my luck. And what's that? Molten stone. She'd seen nothing like this in her forest home. I really miss my reading now. Stalactites hung above, looking decidedly precarious. None of this seems welcoming. None at all. Careful! What is this? Something was unnerving about the pendulous nature of the ceiling. I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I need to find whatever is causing this and stop it, or I'll be smushed. As the sound got closer, Robin realized she would soon face its maker. Okay, here we go. Fire and flame wrapped her form. Hey! Stop that! You'll bring the whole cave down! But the giantess just <laughs> kept on pounding. Ignore me. It's not like I might die over here.
The lava gently bubbled, as if to mock her lack of progress. The lava gently bubbled, as if to mock her lack of progress.
The lava gently bubbled, as if to mock her lack of progress. Again. The whole floor's going to give way. Ah! Right. Not listening or ignoring. I don't care. I have to stop her. Inside Robin was a white hot rage. to write my way out of this. Hey! You! Hey! Whoever you are! You nearly killed me! Hey! Are you listening? Me! Me! I am! Timely exit. Robin didn't quite know what she'd encountered. Sheesh. She's so angry. The thought stuck with Robin. What's wrong with her, I wonder? Whew. I think I need a breather. A place to rest. Robin was beginning to feel burn of loneliness. <sighs> Robin's thoughts drifted back to the burning giantess. Why would she be so full of rage? She must have felt alone. Imagine being stuck in a cave all by yourself. I go bonkers too. Robin vowed to be more understanding.
if they met again. As the light pushed back the darkness, a heaviness lifted from her heart. That was strangely satisfying. Ava wouldn't approve, but I don't care. Again. Robin was adrift on the current. Without control. Lost on the flow of lava. It would take her where it wished. Burning river went faster and faster. Okay, Robin. Remember, empathy. You! You again! She isn't listening! Run, Robin! Run! Thundering steps shook the earth. everywhere. what you've done. You look! We're trapped and it's all your fault. I hate this place and I hate you! I hate 
Her anger consumed itself. Huh? What happened to you? Dunno. Don't feel so angry now. Angry? When I'm angry, I take a few deep breaths. As her anger left, it brought a change. You did it again! Lump's anger gone. Lump? Nice to meet you. I'm Robin. Sorry I was so angry. Lump sorry too. Lump scares Lump when Lump's so big. What's dragon? I'll show you. But first, we need to get out of here. Hmm. Hmm. Just then, Robin noticed a boom shroom she hadn't seen before. We did it! We're free! Free! You coming? Lump likes Robin. Hello, Journal. Today, Sarah at school told me her granddad had a stroke too. His mouth went lopsided. And he spoke a little funny. Now he mostly sits around, watching the telly. I don't think Gran would enjoy that. She'd feel like she was giving up. She'd want to keep moving. Keep doing things. Gran always says. Give the world your kindness, and it will return it threefold. The more positive energy and kindness you give the world, the more you get back. When Mr. Parry's lawn got too high, Gran cut it for him. For the community center meals, she baked cakes. And does the unthinkable.
she changed Ben's smelly nappies. We could do with kindness right now. Someone better step up. Me! Starting with... Bringing world peace? Cooking for the elderly? Cutting Mr. Parry's lawn? Tidying my room? Bringing order to chaos. A mighty struggle needs a suitable tagline. It's tidying time. And then I did the washing up from breakfast. Dad said. Then he bowed at my feet. He's such a complete numpty head, but it made Mum laugh. And when we got to the hospital later, Gran was sitting in a chair and looking out the window. She was smiling. So all the things I've been doing have been working. I just have to do more. There was kale for tea, which is a kind of vegetable torture, but I told myself that if I could eat all of it, then Gran would be even better tomorrow. I'm on fire today. I ran up the stairs two at a time just to top things up. Pinky was very impressed and slept on my feet all night. Sleep. I guess I felt a bit silly. I mean, who cares if I eat my kale? Well, Dad, maybe? But does any of this really make a difference? It's just, if there's a sliver of a chance, it actually does. I want to believe in it. told me that when her granddad was sick she used to pray 
I don't exactly know how that works, but best to hedge my bets. Please, 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 please. Wait, Granwell. Sarah's family are pretty religious. Not like mum and dad. I don't know that much about religion, actually. I like the stories. Especially the one about the Ark and rescuing all the animals. Gran was raised Catholic. But I never really heard her talk about God. Apart from... That time she dropped the yogurts in Tesco's. We took care of the mess before the staff noticed. Gran even offered to pay for them. her once. She said, if there is a god, they're in our actions. How we help and love one another. Seems right to me. So what should I do? I'm going to bring in my story next time we go to the hospital. I can read it to her. I think she'd like that. Maybe if I do a really good job, she can come home in time for Ben's birthday. But first, I need to get on with the story. Having escaped the flaming caves, Lump and Robin ventured into a tenebrous forest. Writing Lump is going to be fun! But if she's not so angry anymore, she might need another character flaw. Maybe... Uncontrollable cravings for... Gentle sunlight streamed across their faces. Sun! I missed you. Oh, sky fire is warm. Like love! That's the dragon! We've got to follow it! Dragon? We need to follow it. Let's go, Lump. Lump no likes follow anything that goes... Rah! Are you coming? Just trees, Lump. Back home, we know had them.
The grey forest, dark, foreboding. Robin didn't care. Oh, you miss it? Yes, that's why I'm doing this. You miss home, but you leave it. Robin couldn't help but smile at Lump's silliness. Her fiery friend was finding a place near and dear to her heart. Suddenly, a strange sweet scent filled the air. Lump knows it, that smell. What is it, Lump? Looks like some kind of fruit. A fruit? <laughs> yum yum. Lump love fruit. Mmm, that's nice. Like honey from back home. Wait. I can't let myself be distracted. We need to go. Now! But... But the fruit! Okay... Shadows deepened in the ravaged forest. We're getting closer. Um... Do we want to be closer? Look, Lump! Dragonfire! It's here! Yes, yes. Dragonfire is K. Lump's K. Okay. Lump, trust Robin! Us chase dragon! Whee! That's the spirit, Lump. We're near. I can feel it. Yes! Um, Robin? Human no fly like Lump, yes? 
A deep rift yawned before them. No, 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 no! We're so close. That wasn't meant to happen, but the fruit had an irresistible draw on little lump. Mm. No, lump! Stay here! I need you! Lump's still here. Just busy! Robin felt her resolve melt. I need to find the dragon! I promised Elder Ava. Just what am I doing out here? All by myself? Silly human! Lump not left! Is in fruit. <laughs> Thanks, Lump. Robin knew she wouldn't swap that little ball of fire for anything. Wow! You're a okay, Lump? Little dizzy for good. <laughs> what a rush! This may be better than fruit. There was no doubt. Something strong and very, very large had been here recently. pursued the beast with little thought for her own safety. You won't get away from me again. I won't let you. Ah! No! Come back! Come back here! Oh, it's okay! It heard you! What? Far above, the dragon circled in the dome, falling fast. As the waters calmed, Robin realized the dragon had gone far, far below. No! I... I... Her hope was shattered. I can't. It's okay, human. We find dragon again. Have another go, right? It's okay. Lump, help! But how? Most of the pieces are gone. I can't even fix it. Look! You get on this, okay? I... 
I don't even know where I'm going anymore. What am I doing? I'm such an idiot. What did I think I was going to do if I caught it? You tried though, human. That's important. Look! One of them's little glowy things you likes. A thing! You likes things too, right? Huh? That's strange. Maybe there are some people around here after all. Forgotten. Much sad. Maybe dragon? Clumsy, clumsy. You cold, human? A little, yes. Lump make fireball. You bring wood, yes? Okay. I can do that. What's up, human? It's just... I remember collecting wood for... I hope she's still okay. Smells like the trees back home. But is it as good as fruits? Is it? Woman, is it? Where do you come from, Lump? Don't remember. You don't remember anything? Lump just remember anger. Then you, Woman. Okay. That should be enough. Okay. Here Lump goes. Ancient energy stirred. Reaching into the place beyond. Ah, it feels good to be back. Already? It's only been a few millennia. Is it not wonderful to see light again? To feel sun? <laughs> I was just getting comfortable in the howling void. Who are you two? Ancient ones! Thought you was a myth! Oh, no, no, my little friend. We are very real. No, we're not. You're imagining us. Go away now. Now we're here, what can we do to help you? Mum! They could help us get to the dragon. Hmm. But nothing is free in this market, or in life. You must provide three offerings to the flame. Should we... If help human, if it make human happy, lump say do it! Hello. So lovely to see you both. What is this place? The market of the lost and the forgotten. Things end up here that have been cast aside or are no longer useful. After a time, so will we. 
No one came here. No one sought us. I thought we would forget ourselves, but you brought us back. You said you could help. Yes, but to give, we must also receive. I don't have money. Then give a kindness. I'll tell everyone about you. No one will ever forget you again. How kind of you to say. Now I will return the favor. To get your wish, you must submit an offering of hope to the flames. Something dear to your heart. Elder Ava gave me this. The pendant gleamed with hopeful memories. I don't know if I should. It was the last thing that she gave me. A wise person once said that no one ever got anything just by wanting it. Okay. You're right. A crack and a spark, and the pendant was gone in the flames. Go away. I said go away. I need help. And? What do you expect me to do about it? Go away. This is a market, right? You have to help me if I give you something. Look, my help. It's not the kind you need. It isn't? Why? I trade in oblivion. I feast on memories. still help me. I must find the sacred fireflies and bring them back to my village. Hmm. Well, don't come complaining to me when there's a big dark hole in your head. What memory are you prepared to consign? Lost in my favorite book. No, you don't. Don't what? Don't remember. Never mind, never mind. Look, this thing can go on forever. The offering has been made. Um, thank you, I guess. Two offerings down. One to go, and they'll help me follow the dragon under the lake. memory the last offering must keep our fire burning a gesture of hope a friendship but it cannot be given by you and we've already given you something so we're out <laughs> what about love you have something to give sure I got love you would give yourself to help your friend. Of course. Long, you don't have to do this. There must be another way. This is important to human. You freed Lump. You gave Lump memories. Lump want to give you something too. I don't want you to do this, Lump. I know. But Lump decide this. It is important. You made promise to find Dragon. 
Lump helps. I guess this is goodbye. Goodbye for us. Hello for you and Dragon. As Little Lump jumped into the fire, the flames began to burn, larger and brighter. Robin felt a change come over her. Slits opened in her neck. Gills! She could now breathe underwater. The wish has been granted. Time for us to go. Hope you like your gift. <laughs> Thank you, Lum. I'll never forget what you did. I should go to the lake. Follow the dragon. I guess. The loss of Lump weighed heavily upon her. Where once there was light was now darkness. Where there was noise, only cold silence remained. But she could not let Lump's sacrifice be in vain. She needed to get to the lake and use her newfound powers to pursue the dragon. The lake looked murky, but she had to brave its depths. It's 5 a.m. <laughs> Gran died in the night. Mum got the call a few hours ago. <laughs> She's still crying. I just feel... Numb. I tried to go back to sleep. But as soon as I close my eyes, the thoughts keep circling back. We should have been there. We drove to the hospital first thing in the morning. No one said much. It seemed to take forever. I've never seen a dead body before. It might be scary. But it's just Gran. Right?
Maybe I should have stayed at home. When we finally arrived, I wasn't so sure about being there at all. We went up the stairs to room 305. Gran's room. Mum gently put her hand on my back and asked me if I wanted to wait outside. I said, Yes. Hello again, journal. I'm sitting in the waiting room, just rows of plastic benches in a sea of blue linoleum. And it smells like Ben's bottom cream. A little doodling should distract me from this dreary place. Dad's calling me. Dad had his arm round Mum as they came out of Gran's room. I have never seen her like this. Mums aren't supposed to cry. They're strong. They're meant to know what to do. Always. I guess losing your own mum makes you feel like a kid again. The drive home was a quiet one again. It's silly, but I keep thinking back. To Gran's favourite vase, the one Grandad gave her. I was running in the house, even though Gran had told me not to. I still remember the noise of the vase smashing into little pieces. Gran was there in an instant. I waited for her to shout. She didn't. She just looked sad. And somehow, that was worse. Gran wouldn't let me pick up the pieces. She found every single one. And carried them into the kitchen. Later, I sneaked in. With a tube of glue in hand. It was a mess. I got glue everywhere. But Gran smiled when she saw the vase. She put it in the cupboard. Later I found it again. When I asked her why she'd binned the vase, she smiled again. Gran always says, We can't hold on to things forever. Let them live in your memories. She said she preferred to keep the vase like she remembered it. Hmm. 
Maybe I hurt Gran's heart. Weakened it. That can happen, can't it? Maybe this is all my fault. I should have listened to her. I shouldn't have run in the house. Now everything is broken. If I'd started my story sooner, Gran could have read it. It might have helped. I could... I could have fixed... I would have fixed her heart. Really? I don't even know how to fix my story. It's a mess. I left Robin to sink into cold, dark waters. She's completely alone. She left behind Lump, her only friend. Okay, focus, Izzy. How can I continue the story? How would she feel about this situation? Robin felt... Guilty. We're getting somewhere. Now... Let's see.